Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Crooked Man. I'm the Knight of Buquitius and last we left off, um, we finished the prologue and I was stuck in a hotel or that big building. I still am, needless to say. So we'll have to figure that out. I hope I'll be able to figure it out better than yesterday because yesterday I was not able to figure it out at all. Um, could be that I have just not paid enough attention to certain things and that's why I didn't figure out what I need to figure out. And it could be that I'm commentating as well while playing. So there are a lot of things it could be, well not really a lot, but enough. Um, yeah. So we'll try to figure it out now, what well, I am. And you'll help me I guess, mentally, I don't know, something. Okay, let's start. Uh, load the thingy, it's the, the yeah. Yeah, we're in this hotel thingy and like, I think I've tried everything. I, I myself think I literally have tried everything that I can. Like, I've, I've pressed on everything and nothing is unlockable. Uh, the few rooms that I was able to enter, I entered them, but like, nothing changed, literally. Like, nothing changed. For example, this room. I mean, yeah, I saw this thing here, but that's all. Like, Treasure hunt thing. Their mom, dad, me. So, I, I mean, I didn't understand. There's nothing. <clears throat> Maybe it's a puzzle that this is this a hint? Like, there is this crown on this place, but uh, this doesn't. I don't know. Like, the tree, the tree. Um, maybe the room three. I don't know. Maybe this. No, I don't know. <laughs> like I, I did, I did. Uh, touch everything. Like literally everything. I'll do it again because I don't know. Like it could be something. The only place I was not here is this. I was not. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, and I can't enter this one. This bathroom thing. So. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the thing. But maybe that's the maybe I should go I don't know like I really don't know oh hold on maybe it's the yes ah oh, I'm an idiot yes this is it this yeah oh finally <laughs> because I remember the pattern was similar like there were these three rows like this this and this so and I remember these uh, tables are in that pattern oh my god yes <coughs> hey something under the table I found a gold key cool oh there's a paper beside it you found a treasure congrats yay oh finally like, let's see so what does it open? Does it open everything? I mean, it's a golden key. Does, does it open the staff things as well? There's a wire around. Oh, the yeah. Locked. Maybe I could now go into the um in the bathroom. Oh, can I use the, the gold key? No. Whatever. <clears throat> Let's go here. 
Oh, that's locked with a passcode. So, yeah. Go. Um, what's the door? Here, there's. I think there's a door I can enter. I think the, no. Right. <coughs> um. I'm still a bit sicklish, as you could probably guess. Maybe this. Well, I know it's locked. But Ugh, whatever. Mm, nope, nothing. <coughs> Maybe this one. I don't think so, but whatever. Um, it could be the library thing. No. Oh, yes, good. Enter the library thing. All right, let's read. The owner's collection of books. Please read at your leisure. Oh, I sure will. I'll take. Uh, okay, key to one o nine. All right. Let's read this book here. Cry of the unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe you are cold hearted and you may be warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your kindness and they will drag you away. Some kind of a cult book? I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into the stuff of his, for his age. What? Um, I think I read that incorrectly but whatever pack type books with with books from k12 cool i to j all right basically nothing cool uh-huh what the that sound it's like someone running Let's see what this is. I <laughs> a decorated plant collecting dust. Oh, I think it's energy efficient. Um, not energy inefficient. That is. Is someone there? Um, I I I I hope. to find out oh all right uh, also I'll have to lower down the sound because um, it was too uh, it was too strong and I was not very strong in the volume like would overpower my sound so my voice so um yeah it's 109 i think yeah that's it oh shiny ah, looks like the bathroom the shelves are empty <coughs> the clock stopped there's something on top i think it's magic it might be friendship magic how do I reach it? Uh, it might be items and I don't know, an item. Um, notebook. No, nothing. All right. So I can't reach it. Can I? No, I can't. So I basically spent all this time for nothing. Great. Why can't I enter any bathrooms? Maybe there's... Well, maybe I could take a chair. Oh! Alright, I get it. Alright, this isn't too hard. Well, 
now what? Oh. Right, got wire cutters. Wire, why would I cut any wires? <coughs> oh. Suddenly there is music. Oh, now I can enter the staff room. Is that piano? Oh, alright. Coming from the second floor. Oh. <coughs> the piano is in this one, right? Who's there? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I just came in and... And the piano looked nice, so I, um, uh, uh, sorry I yelled at you. I'm not in staff or hotel or anything. Who are you, Dad? I'm David. Um, I'm sort of looking for a guy. A specific guy, I'm not just browsing. Um, what about you? I'm Sissy. Huh, Sissy then. <laughs> what brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know. I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. Oh, she's a ghost. She forgot something like 200 years ago or something. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. <clears throat> it's just this little box decorated with rubies. But I'm not leaving until I find it. Right. Well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here a while longer, so I could help you find it. R really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor, do you know? If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? Okay. Right. Uh, I'll be going then. Um, um, David, you be careful too. I'm telling you she's a ghost. I'm calling it right now. Man, what am I doing shining at girls? I feel like the shady one here. Yeah. Well. Um, let's cut the wires. And, I guess. And, yeah. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. There's wire around it. Good. Cut the wire with the cutters. Oh, really? <laughs> cutters gonna cut, 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 cut. <laughs> Lined with tourist magazines for the area. Lined with journals and account books. What is this? I, I, I don't even know what this is. Oh, whatever. What's this? Notebook. Door in the door in room 107 bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on this page. Oh, 107, cool. Trash can is full of crumpled paper. Full of miscellaneous goods. Let's see. Four chapters of the book have mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. Alright, cool. Um, miscellaneous goods. Miscellaneous. Well, I mean, that's the same one. So. I guess that's some sort of couch or something. I don't know. Owner's oh, room. There's there's no doorknob. Uh, here's something. Me too. That's creepy. Is somebody locked in there? Ah, I should find some way to open it. Just. Break it! I, I don't know, like, there's no knob, how can you enter it? Find a knob, I guess. Oh, you're such a knob. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 107 then. Mm, is it here? It's 108, uh, fuck. So it's the other side. On this side. It's 10, is this 107? 
That's one hundred one, then I guess. One hundred seven is the last one. Or yeah. Let's first chapter. Room. Shelves are empty. Dresser is empty. Clock is stopped. Cool. All right. Oh. A <laughs> doorknob. Really? Oh yeah, that journal mentioned something about door repairs. Oh, really? Hmm, maybe it would work in that door without a knob. It's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. Got a knob. Okay. Mirrors, Philby. Let's go. Oh. Alright. You don't want to go. <laughs> really? Really? Wow. Alright. Let's go and open the door in the owner's door. Try to at least. Yay, attach the door knob. Well, nobody's in here. Land with novels. Find with novels. Find with tourist info and maps. With books about hotel administration. Book of the month. The strange. Ha! <laughs> the strange case of Miss Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Actually, read this book a little bit. Kinda. Trash cans empty. I know. I, I know about the big elephant in the room. I just want to check everything before. All right. Small door, which won't open. It doesn't seem to have a lock. Oh my God! What's it? What's it with these doors and things without the knobs and locks? And... Well, what do I do now then? Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> Let's leave. All right. Let's look around some more then. As if we haven't seen enough. It's the library, yeah. It's pitch dark. It's pitch black, I mean. But, um... Hold on, can we take this book? We haven't took... Taken this book. Grab the unseen. Kind... They... Oh, yeah. I think. Some kind. He's way too into this stuff for his age. He's way too into that stuff for his age. Oh! But... Can't I take it? Alright, whatever. Cool. Now let's look again. Like, what am I supposed to do now? No. All right. Maybe now I should light the thing. Nope. Um. What would be the? Uh, is there any clue? That's what I'm. Concerned about maybe I'm just missing a missing a clue. Hmm. I don't think I am. I have missed the clue before doing that thing before the one. <laughs> you know the um, treasure with the little girl's drawing. I missed that being a clue, but I don't think I'm missing anything right now. There is a thing that's lighter. Uh -huh. The style seems a little loose. Alright. Um, let's save. Well, let's stamp on it. Oh, what's that? It opened. Was there a mechanism? Me mechanism? Yeah, mechanism. What do you care? <laughs> like, uh, so 
It opened. Was there a mechanism on the door? On the floor? Look. There's a ladder, and it goes down. Where else? Uh, maybe I should check this out. Probably not. Oh, that's where the lighter comes in. Yeah, cool. Can't see a thing. I need a light. That's why we have lighters. Oh man, if somebody didn't pick up the lighter, I mean, I don't know how we wouldn't, but if somebody didn't pick up the lighter, they'd be screwed in this part of the game. Smells like gasoline. Okay, we can burn. Lamp wall. Can't we um, find some lamp or something? Then use the chair. Uh huh. I see that. I just don't wanna go straight to it. I guess that's all I have. <coughs> A figure crouches on the floor. Oh, are you okay? Were you locked in here? Oh fuck! Oh, that scared me. Actually, it did. Kind of scared me. What? What? Oh, are you okay? Whoa! Come near me. Did I lose? Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously. I didn't know I had to run. Uh, okay, let's load. Alright, let's just hurry up and skip this. Because I... I already read it, read it all, and you know it's gonna happen. So let's just go and all right. Let's just all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Wow. Ah! Crap. Let go, let go! Shake off, shake off, shake off, shake off, shake off, shake off. off. Alright, I should come. Or shake it, whatever. Uh. <sighs> okay. Good. Whoa, what was that? Its neck was all crooked. Kind of been human. Am I just going nuts here? That thing, it couldn't have been real. I must just be seeing things. I'm just too tired is all. Oh, I feel sick. I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came up for? Okay. <laughs> just like that, nobody really cares about what happened anymore? We now want to find CC. Hey. I think that room in which we found the clue, the, the, the treasure hunt clue, I think that's the CC's room and uh, it's been abandoned or something like for quite some time now. I think that could be it. It might, might not be, but I'm calling it. If it is, then I'll keep it. Oh, how did I already been in this one? Okay, this is the little girl, right? Why can't I? I can't click on the clue anymore. Press me. Come on. Alright. You don't want it? You don't have to. Let's go the other side then. Uh, this is the part I don't really 
I mean, I don't love my kid, I just don't really like it too much. Yeah, but. Yeah. Like, because you're. Now I need to constantly just go and from each uh, side to another side and then the upstairs. So, I don't know. It's, I'm okay with it, but I, I, it's not something I enjoy doing too much. Or maybe CC is the crooked man. I mean, remember the story about Jekyll and Hyde? He turns into it. <coughs> Fuck! That scared me. <laughs> What's that? CC? Um, what's the room? I forgot the room. Uh, this one. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sheesh. What did you do, girl? Sissy! What happened? I... I went to the window, and the floor gave away. What should I do? Sissy, jump over! It's dangerous over there. Uh, no, I can't. I'm, I'm slipping. And I can't possibly jump that far. A gap this big. There's no time for pessimism. It's going to crumble quick. Hurry, I'll catch you. Uh. Oh, good. Yeah. That, that was too close. Are you okay, Sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? Oh, she's gonna. Oh, no. Alright. So scared. I was so scared. Is she gonna turn to, uh, like, not turn, but be like that girl from the, uh, Walking Dead games? The, um, Clementine or something? Was it? Is she gonna become, like, Clementine to us or something? Uh, I was so scared. No more. I don't like the dark. Why? Why do I? Why? It's okay, sissy. I'm sorry, I know you were scared. But it's fine now, don't cry. Uh -huh. I, I'm sorry. I, I was scared and confused. It's alright. I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? No, not yet. It wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you're looking all alone. You can always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've just been wondering. Was it a present or... <clears throat> it's a present from my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me after my own life. Whoa. Ah, I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it too. I'm looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but can you tell me more about them? Er, uh, well, I don't know that much either. Just that he's a man about my age. Huh? You know that little... You know that little about the person you're looking for? <laughs> You're a strange guy, David. I I am not. There's just some things I want to ask, I, and I don't know how he looks because, um, because I was an idiot and I didn't want to let the. Sorry if you can hear that. That's a thing outside. Anyway, it's because I was an idiot and didn't want to ask the landlord landlady. Actually, I didn't want to. I didn't want to let her tell me what she knew, how exactly he looked and stuff. And she was willing to. Wow. Or something, like. She was willing to... No, she was willing to search some numbers or something. And we didn't let her. Which would have been much easier for us. Ah, whatever. Strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if you weren't there. I'm really grateful to you for saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. Huh. 
Tristan. What do we do now? So we don't care about the whole giant hole. Yeah. Do we? No, we don't. Okay, cool. Um. Now back to. Are we just gonna leave now or something? Like, yeah. because we saw the crooked man and we escaped him and like let's just save here. Um, day to one, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, there are multiple data. Oh, right. Okay. That's easier. Much easier. Yeah, we can't actually enter any rooms in this, but I'm I'm sure bar will be important because the it it has the um little not little scrolly giant but the it says that it's a bar so it's gotta be something important like I mean in the video game logic that is was I already this sign probably hold on. That's, yeah, we were just here. I'm an idiot. Alright, let's go down. What am I doing? Alright. It's much better. Um. Yeah, just how. Ah. Do we find a passcode? Or not? Why did I enter that room? I don't know. Just don't know. Don't ask me. Do we leave now? No. All right. Because now I don't know what to do. Like literally, I don't know what to do. This game is rather weird with this. Like, it doesn't give any certain task. I mean, you. Like, I have to. I. I know what I have to do because, like. I don't have any certain tasks, so now I have to go and visit each and every room once again. It's like, you know what I mean. It's a bit uh, Why don't you tell me exactly what to do? Uh oh. Good thing I saved a little bit ago. Just a second. All right. Oh, I'm. Ready? Because I don't want that bag to be behind me. It's a plastic bag. The basement doors open. Uh oh, we're screwed. Let's save. On the five. Yeah. And just in case it gets corrupted, six. Alright, let's. Hope I don't get killed. It's the same thing, right? And it's not there. Fuck. Uh huh? Um, let's go there. There's something here. A bronze key. Um. Um. We're gonna get killed. That's the gamer. Cause I heard something. Let's let. <laughs> I don't care. I have to save again because I don't know. I'm I'm getting scared now. Okay. Now I'm getting scared a little bit. I have to admit. So bronze key. What's the bronze key for? That. Maybe the thing. Um. This. No, it's the lock code, passcode, whatever. Password or something. Um, what could it be then? Maybe the 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 the, the bar. It's gotta be the bar that's not there. It's the other thing. 
Um, D. Right yeah, here, yeah. Is it gonna be like in The Shining when he goes to the bar and there are a bunch of ghosts just. And the. Uh, the... No. Uh, I was hoping the bartender would be a ghost as well. Empty beer. Bottles, beer, bottles. Somebody really liked beer. Wow. Somebody really likes a lot of beer. Wine casks, they seem mostly empty. All of them? Yeah, all of them, okay. Is there any else? Anything else? Or is it all beer? What kind of beer is this? A few, ah, a few wine bottles. They seem to be full. Brandy. It's got, it, it's got tons of alcohol in it. I might just catch fire if I drank this. Brandy? Oh, I heard brandy is amazing. Didn't get a chance to try it yet, but a journal is seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and slop rambling and sloppily written. That toast to our owner who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good. But at least we don't have to see his mug and no more. His mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff for the basement door, having a number lock on the food storage. All his silly crap made the place impossibly to impossible to run. Plus the passcode was this thing. Plus the passcode was this thing with a book which he... Shit. Ah, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. The door to the food storage is at the far end of the first floor, right? Passcode on food is pretty crazy. I forgot the... Want... Possible... To... Plus the passcode was this thing with a book which she changed up every month. What the hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as hell not to us. Ah, whatever, okay. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so that thing with the passcode, it's, uh, um, it's, uh, uh, the thing. It's a, <coughs> it's a thing, yeah. It's, um, what's the, the food storage, yeah. I don't know why why that was so hard to um, pronounce or say or even remember, but I don't know. Let's see. Locked with a passcode, but what's the passcode? Like, what's the passcode for the month it was abandoned at? Like, the last passcode that they used was the. Oh, and now we're stuck with how to. Walk through every door again, with a hoping, hoping something will happen. Like, see my problem? But whatever, I don't care. I'll finish the game, I think. Hopefully, if it doesn't get too scary. I was just here, but still, I want to see if I missed something. So let's just go to bar again. Because I don't know, I like I like bars, bars. I like bars. I don't know why I'm saying that. But <laughs> anyway, let's go to the other side. Or maybe I should just get these doors first because they might have some. No, nothing. All right, let's go here. I mean. Last time we found something here, and not the last time, but a few times before. One time, a few times before. That's what I meant. That's the whole hole. <laughs> That's the whole hole. Yeah. Like in English. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Okay, okay. That's a shadow. I, 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 haven't, 
I don't have a shadow of a doubt that was a shadow. <coughs> hmm. Alright, so. Now, what's that passcode? Seriously, no. I mean, seriously, no. Maybe. <coughs> maybe the. Hotel register. No? Maybe it's in the staff room? Possible. Miscellaneous goods, sorry for that. Miscellaneous goods, miscellaneous goods, crumbled paper. Mysteriously. And missing. Alright, maybe this. No. Count books. Um, tourists. Novels. Infos, maps, administration, books. Strange case of the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Is that a sort of is that a hint at the passcode or something? Um, I'm a little bit lost now, to be honest. To be completely honest, I am a little bit lost. Maybe it's one of these clocks, no. Landscape painting, staff room. I know it's a staff room. Locked. Can't leave. We're trapped. Maybe it's a mounted deer. But where is mount? Where is mounted deer? No. Sorry, my mistake. Landscape painting, fireplace, clock stopped. Ah, uh, what's what? Do I do now? Our warning is simple in the concept. You just have to escape the thing. I mean, it's hard to do. I don't know if if it's possible. I, I, I never did do it, but it's that's the basic concept, and it's basic and. Here you have to solve these mysteries, why? Like, it's alright solving mysteries, but like, they don't give you a specific, specified task. You have to just guess and go from room to room trying to find the next part. Like, that's what I, I, I dislike right now. And whatever. Let's just go to the bathroom. No, no. No, well, of course it's filthy. Why? Okay, I know. I, I know what you mean, though. So don't worry. Um, what's the passcode? <laughs> I mean, sorry. Let's think about this for a second. Alright? So, um, uh, we have helped her. And where is she? Why can't I find her? Alright, so we have helped her survive. Sorry for that. I'm just moving a little bit. So, and that thing is open and it's probably gonna kill us anytime soon. Sometime soon, I guess. But we should go into the cellar. And the. the not the cellar, but the thing. Um, what's. Uh, the, the food storage thingy. 
that we need to find the last passcode it, it was changed every month amazing what's the last one that was used because the, the hotel was abandoned apparently so there had to be one last that was used before everything ended like before it was abandoned so I mean so what's that one what's the latest one that's what I need to know and uh, and what I don't know because because I don't know why because I'm trying to find it and I'm not able to find it for some reason an apparent reason I don't know Ah, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Just walked in three twice, I think. And what's here? Is there anything here? Um. No, we already did that. Um, Reversing, reverting. Um, what am I to do now? What the hell am I supposed to do? It's collecting, that's great. It's dark out. I mean, I, I could even guess the passcode if I got to the mechanism, if, if the game, if the game let me, um, near the mechanism to try to, um, guess the passcode, but it's not even letting me do anything like that. Staff only locked with a passcode. Great, show me the mechanism so that I can put in some sort of passcode. I mean, am I gonna have to go and check out the walkthrough or something? I don't want to do that. Seems I might have to if, if the game um, doesn't give me any clues or if the glue clues are too little. <laughs> All right, um, let's enter the bathroom. Why can't we enter the ba bathroom? Dresser is empty. The shelves are empty. Everything is empty. Where are... Um, I'm getting a little bit annoyed. As you can probably tell. Probably tell. I think we should... I don't know why I said that twice. <laughs> um, I, I think we should escape while we still can. Still can. Yeah. Because I don't know the difference between E and E, but whatever, still can. Um, because that thing is loose now. I mean, to open it, it came out of that thing in the the the, the in the floor under this thing here. I forget what's it called, but yeah. Can't do anything else there. So it, it walked, so it's loose. So it's free now and it's gonna chase us, it's gonna kill us. We should run away while we still can. But no, our idiot friend here wants to explore a little more. Or look around to be more precise. Ah, uh, whatever. <coughs> Um, you know what? Um, I don't feel like just going around and hoping I do something right. Um, you know, like, uh, I just don't, I don't feel like doing that. So I'm gonna pause the recording and I'm gonna go and check out the um, walkthrough. So, I'll be right back. Oh, I'm such an idiot. 
I'm such an idiot. Uh, let's go to the library. Where's the library? I forgot. Um, was it this sign here? I don't think. Was it? No. Oh God damn it! I I hate myself. It's the. Uh, God, I'm an idiot. And this is also con this this whole map. I mean, a hotel. It's not a mansion. It's confusing. No, that's the way. Or the other thing. Yeah. The 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 what's the? No, no. The Jekyll and Hyde strange case, yeah. The blackboard in the owner's room said strange case, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It'd be on the shelf, right? Yeah. Ah, here we go. Chapter 1 Story of the Door. Um, am I gonna read the. Alright. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Read. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde Chapter 1 Story of the Door Mr. Utterson, the lawyer, was a man of rugged countenance and was never lighted by a smile, cold, scanty, and embarrassed in discourse, backward in sentiment, lean, long, dusty, dreary, and yet somehow lovable. At friendly meetings, and when the wine was to his taste, something eminently human beaconed from his eye. Something indeed which never found its way into his talks, but which spoke not only in these silent symbols of the after dinner face, but more often and loudly in the acts of his life. He was austere with himself, drank gin when he was alone to mortify tastes for vintages, and though he enjoyed the theater, had not crossed the door of the doors of one for twenty years. But he had an approved tolerance for others, sometimes wondering, almost with envy, at the high pressure of spirits involved in their misdeeds. I'm sorry that was my mother. <sighs> um I, I, I like that they put the like the chapter one and the first like the beginning of the book so that they don't spoil us. Almost with envy at the high pressure of spirits and all their misdeeds. And in any. Oh. Well, that was a waste of time. Um, let's hope that they'll just go through the chapters of the book and we'll see something eventually and that the guy our guy will find the no all right um let's go and see maybe he did i don't know he never said anything oh fuck all right what uh what side is he gonna come from from that side so what are we gonna do? What do we do now? No, no way! That, that monster! Did it really? Yeah, it did. It really did. What do I do now? It, it, it's coming this way! Crap, I gotta escape. Go into the... Ah! Fuck you. Oh, what's the last place I saved? Oh, that's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Is it? No, hold on. No, not save. Yeah, yeah, it is. Ah, uh, goddammit. Alright, so, what did we do? What did we last do? Did, do? did we already go to the bar? Did we already find the... I mean, I guess... We need to go to the bar now. Alright. 
I don't know why I went that way, but... <laughs> Alright, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna be an idiot. I'm gonna save, of course. As I should have done before, long before. After I read the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing. That is. Alright, yeah. Let's save here. And we'll give it an entire page. Alright? Because screw the rules, I have green hair. Right? Let's just hurry. Aha! If I drop him down here, how am I gonna do that? So what I saw earlier Damn, I can't believe such a thing exists But there's no way it's coming back now The room's, the room under is locked tight I should warn Sissy when I see her I knew it would be dangerous for her I think that is Sissy, I mean Just think about it uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. High, I mean It has to be Sissy, right? I said, as I said, I'm calling it. If it's not fine, but I don't care. I'm calling it. Now let's just hope that I'm gonna save first, just because I I don't I don't wanna be alright too. Is enough. I don't wanna be uh, slugged with a. Oh, damn it! So we have to read all that. I don't want to get spoilers on Dark to I mean, I said I read it and I did, but I don't. I don't want to read it out loud, out, out, la, 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 out loud, so that other people get spoilers. Nor do I want to have it shown on the screen for any amount of time because, as I said, spoilers for others that might not have read it. <sighs> That evening, Mr. Hutchison came. Sombre spirits inside mounted him. What was this Christmas Sunday? Sunday is a uh, seventh day, so maybe seven. When his meal was over, just to the close by the fire, one more day, one more day. the Venetian was waiting to until the clock left neighboring church rang out the law. Well, when he would go so soberly and gratefully to bed on the night, however, as soon as the clot was taken away, he took up a candle and went to his business room. There, he opened his safe, took from the most private part of it, document and doors, and the envelope of Dr. Jekyll's will, and sat down with a clouded brow to study its contents. The will was holographic. For Mr. Utterson thought he took charge of it now that it was made. For, for Mr. Utterson, though he had refused to lend Haya the least assistance in the making of it, provided only that in case. Nearly a year later, October is the 7th, so maybe it's 6718. Nearly a year later, in the month of October 18, when he was startled by a cry of singular ferocity and rendered all the, all the more notable by the high position of the victim, the details were few and startling. Made seven going in the house, not from a, not far from the river, had gone upstairs to bed about eleven. Although fog rolled over the city in the small hours, the early part of the night was cloudless, and the lane 
which the maid's window overlooked was brilliantly lit by the full moon. It seems she romantically given Oh, for the sad for she sat down upon the box which stood immediately under the window and fell into a dream of music. Never she used to say with streaming tears when she narrated that experience. Never has she felt more at peace with all all of time more can in the war as she so sad she would age beautiful. But uh, it was late in the afternoon. So it's it could be uh six seven eighteen, six seven one eight. Right? Or something. I'm gonna write that down somewhere. Um, just hold on a second, I need to um find somewhere to write it. Um Oh, all right, I'll just pause the recording and write it. All right, so I'm back. And so, I wrote it. Let's hope I was right. After I read the rest of it. Laboratory or dissecting rooms. The doctor had bought the house from the hairs of the celebrated surgeon and Agontes, being rather chemical than anatomical, had changed the destination of the block at the bottom of the garden. It was the first time that the lawyer had been received in that part of friend's quarters, and he eyed the dinghy. <laughs> Windowless structure with curiosity and gazed round with a distasteful sense of fits, of strangeness. Strangeness as he crossed the Tito, once crowded with eager students and now lying along, lying gallant and sound, the tables lining with chemical. Alright, nothing there. Um, Mr. Utterson was sitting by his Fireside one evening after dinner when he was surprised to receive a visit from Poole. Bless me, Poole, what brings you here? He cried and then, taking a second look at him, What ails you? he added. Is the doctor ill? Mr. Utterson said the man, there is something wrong. Take a seat, and here is a glass of wine for you, said the lawyer. Now take your time and tell me plainly what you want. You know the doctor's way, sir. I was born in the eight in the year eighteen to a large again something with an eighteen like eighteen I guess again I mean I don't know um large and old was big saw and pots and clean the nature of the industry for the respect to the wise and girl might have been supposed with regard to you, honorable and distinguished future, and indeed the worst uh, faults was a certain impatient gratitude. Disposition of such a system made the happiness of so I found it hard to reconcile with my... I'm sorry, I need to, um, I need to read in, like, silently, but I'm just trying to go as fast as possible, so I'm just, I don't know, whatever. So, so i um, regular all right let's go and see if it's like six seven one eight I mean it could be it's possible I doubt it's uh, impossible but you know I mean it could be not but let's hope it is okay so six uh, seven one and eight must no ah 
Oh, it's the... Oh, hold on. Maybe it's six. Six. One, eight. Seven. Uh, yeah. Um, maybe it's zero, seven, one, eight, maybe it's zero, one, eight, seven, ah, oh. um, I'm bad with these puzzles, sorry, puzzles, just a sec, I actually have an idea and I, I literally just stopped uh, the recording and then continue, I didn't do anything, like there are some missing chapters, it's, could that be it, like it went one, two, um, three was missing, then four, Um, six, I think, and seven were missing, right? And then the ninth, um, right? Oh, cool! Thank God, okay, we have a knife there, right? Cool. Thank God. A ladder. Thank you. Cupboard, uh, hinges are too rusty to open. This one is as well. Um, smells rotten. Well, of course, yeah. <laughs> smells rotten, yeah. I assume it would. Um, this is nothing. Drag for table wear. Okay. Wine cask. A rusty pot. Take the knife. Small fruit knife. It doesn't matter. You can still. Ah! You can still cut people. Beer cases, beer cases, beer cases, um, wooden box, wooden box, alright, it'll do this one, I try save, 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 okay, I know I'm saving, save's coming, but whatever, see something shining, but it's out of reach, um, it is, oh, um, can I just climb, oh, Ladder. Could you just to get up to that thing? Yeah, I could. <coughs> Key to two two ten. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Just hold on a second. Two ten. So two ten. All right. So it was on the upper floor where I. Put him like hold on. That's the where he okay. So it's two oh seven. It's on the other side, okay. Hold on, is it um maybe this one? Two oh seven? Yeah. Let's save again. I'm scared. I, I want. I, I'm sorry. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. But I need to say because I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared of what's gonna happen. I, because I, I dislike those. It's not that actually I dislike them. It's just that I kind of. <coughs> I'm not very good at those runny and escapey thingies from the monster. Looks like something was badly burned. Was this a photo? Looks like it was a woman. Hmm. There's something under the pieces. Oh, got a scrap from a notebook. Cool. What did it say? I don't need her memory anymore. I know she won't come back. So I have to forget everything, good and bad. Ah! My head hurts. Why is it suddenly all dark? Settle down. Sheesh, I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. Let's just go.
go and escape the... Uh, so she burnt this photo to clear his broken heart, huh? So he burnt his photo to clear his broken heart, huh? I... I know I couldn't do that. I... I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Not ever. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. Sissy! Oh, there you are, David. <coughs> Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There are lots of rooms I can't go in, so it might be in one of those. What's wrong? Uh, what's wrong with... What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing. But Sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger too. So I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark, scary places either. But there's no need to tease me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of a boogeyman, okay? Er, uh, sorry. But I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but... A monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark. You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. <laughs> I'd like to think you're right. All right, if you insist, but be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. Great, I oh, got damn it. I think she is. I said it already, but I'm sure she is the, um, she's a crooked man. Like the, the sort of doctor, uh, the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. What? No, we're not gonna enter right now. Not yet. I'm gonna say first. And I don't think that's something that needs to. Um, there's nothing. Oh, there is. I'm an... I'm a blind idiot. A message in red? Was this here before? I don't think so. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Come. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. To come to me, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, I am telling you, it's uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thingy. <laughs> yeah. Who could have written this? What now? Wh why? I dropped you down a bit! Crap, I gotta do something. Ah! Uh. How am I supposed to escape it? Alright, I'm gonna save here because that's more convenient. Oh, that's the last one. Alright, so let's save the last one. There. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's hurry up this. Let's hurry this up. about that ah shit um load all right let's uh, let's get this over with <laughs> Uh. 
Well, what was I supposed to do? Is this like, is, is, is this really like Awani? Uh, hold on a second. I have to take a break a little bit. Like, I have to just calm down a little bit. All right, I'm a little bit more calm, and I was thinking maybe there are some other things to do. Like maybe I shouldn't run. I don't know. Like maybe it. It's. I mean. Whenever it touches me, I, I seem to lose, so it's probably going to hurt me if it touches me. But the thing is, um, maybe I could do something else. Maybe I have something in inventory or something. I don't know. Light. Uh, maybe I could burn it, but no. It's, it's not really... Like, because it's... I mean, it's still flesh and stuff, like... It's not really gonna start burning right away, right ahead, like, maybe I, hold on, but, no, I don't know. Um, can I drink to, just, to, and then, uh, and then leave and run away? These are, hold on, these are full wine. Oh! Oh! You cheeky bastards. I didn't even, I, I completely forgot about that. Alright, I think I, I know what I'm supposed to do now. I should, I, I, I don't know how to take the bottles. I'm not sure what to do now. Okay. Damn it! This monster doesn't give up. How about some of this? Uh huh. Why do we fight? Ah. Uh, I guess that won't be much alone. What else can I do? Can I now light it on fire? Uh huh. Yeah, because it's on fire. Ah, good. Uh huh. Now that he's covered in alcohol, he should be pretty flammable. Yes, he should. Ooh, thank God. What am I doing? Wait. Now he's gonna find the whole hotel. He ran away. You. What the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Now, where could I look? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the big knife that I mentioned before that you should take. That you should have taken before when I went to that place. What about that? Huh? I think that's pretty good. Let's save. Because I'm still kind of shaken. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> really? Oh, isn't that convenient? A fruit knife? Maybe I should take it just for self defense. Yeah, probably. Got a knife. Alright, it's gonna be like the Final Fantasy fighting sequences from now on. Oh, are you serious? Let's hope that's not sissy. Let's say because that's convenient. Because if I die, then I have to get back, uh, do all this again. The blood! This wasn't here earlier. Did, did something happen to Sissy? I'd better look for her. This is gonna be the same thing. Well, it's gonna going in this. Maybe this here? Or here? No. This way? Uh huh. Um, it's. Not, it's going up, I guess. No, it's going. Here. Alright, let's go here. Let's just be. 
stupid let's just go and fall right into the trap that's that's a good idea and so that we don't have to redo everything if we die let's just the door is unlocked cool hold on she's what sissy what are you doing here your arms bleeding so it was your blood were you hurt well of course you she was hurt well, I'm caught on something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resisting here? And, you, uh, and you've been resting here, right? What if you have anemia? I don't... I wouldn't be worried. I should... I would try and kill her. Because she's the monster. I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. That's also my parents in the background, so you know, give me your hand, sissy. I have a hand, I have a handkerchief, so I can at least try to wrap it up. I guess this is better than nothing, doesn't it hurt? It's fine, thank you. You're so kind, David. It doesn't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that I'm wandering around. Wandering this dark place all alone. Falling in holes, cutting my arm. All to find some measly box. Measly? But it's important, right? I'm a mentor from your boyfriend. Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Yeah, he, she said that already, or some... Did she? No, she didn't, actually. Huh? Or maybe he's... Maybe he's that his... Like... Is the... Oh, sorry for that. Is the crooked man her boyfriend, or ex, whatever? Either that, or she's the... Like crooked man in the form of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde analogy. You left me quite a while ago, but while we while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him. So she's older than she looks, or. That I've thought because I thought she was a little girl, a little like, like no, not a real grown woman or something. Yeah, I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. So the owner, ah, uh, the owner, the guy that was that that put the locks and shit, the the picture that was burned. Was the picture of her, the owner was her boyfriend, and they broke up, and now the owner is the crooked man, is it? Ugh, I'm gonna stop doing, I'm gonna stop doing this, okay? I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming back here brought all these memories. Oh well, yeah. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Oh, Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Oh, key. Okay. Um, thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm gone. Be careful in the dark. 
Thanks. I'll look for your treasure too. <laughs> you sure are nice, David. You might be growing on me. Haha, <laughs> I don't know if such a wonderful girl would suit a loser like me, sorry. Um, sure, I guess, whatever. Maybe it's the bathroom? <laughs> Could be, you never know. Oh. Why are you always like this, David? Like, like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Don't you have a personality? Who is this talking? I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. You're not kind, you're just indecisive. It would be the same with anyone but me, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm in a, uh, if I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. The then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that it? It's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way. But it would just be annoyance for us both to stay together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait! We can talk this out! Surely! Well, I don't think we can. Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that. Timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Let's just save now, because I don't trust this game not to scare me. I don't want to be scared. Do we leave now? No, fucking gal. I want to leave. Can I just please leave? What's the deal now? Like, what do I do now? Now again, there is nothing specific for me to do or say or think for me. Ah, now we have to continue on our searching quest again. Nothing there. I don't see anything here. there either. By the way, did the game get the... Oh well, I don't think there are any copyrights for the Jekyll and Hyde because... I heard some... some thumping. I heard some thumping. I think. I think I did. But I don't think I see anything now. Um, what now? Are there any? Is there any list of quests or something? Oh, god damn it! What do I do now? That's the only problem I have with this game is that I don't know what to do. After I finish one part, I don't know what to do next for the next one because it's just like I was hoping I finished the first chapter or whatever they are called if it's not chapter there was prologue so I guess it's chapters if they're not chapters then whatever they are but like I was hoping 
to finish them soon rather than late later sooner rather than later because and, oh is there something I couldn't unlock what um I've unlocked everything I think that I let's just Yeah, but like that's not really that important, is it? <laughs> All right, let's go and try to. Oh, is it the room that the thing fell into? Or no? Well, maybe. this no all right so it's not on the first floor okay good to know let's go to second floor um What the hell's wrong with me? Alright, so that's not it either. What is it? Uh, any hidden passages or something in the bar or no that's the just the normal all right and there is nothing for me in the bar let's go somewhere else um maybe yeah. i do i doubt it maybe all right no nothing maybe in here I mean, it could be possible. Can I just open these and just jump out? Alright, no, I can't. I don't know what to do. Like, I, I literally don't know what to do. It's a library. Is there something at the library? No, I don't see anything. All right, I don't see anything in the library either. <clears throat> Maybe we should, I don't know, kill ourselves so that we don't get killed because that's apparently what we want to. It smells rotten, yeah, but is it the key? Is it openable? Openable. Is that a word? Yeah, I think it is. It should be. It makes no sense for it not to be. It's a cool uh, little word. Um. Whatever is going on, I don't know. What should I do? Maybe... Oh, maybe this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Now I'm finally outside. But I don't feel safe. Let us just save before. No. No. Let's save. Yeah. Okay. There's something in the ma in the fountain. The box. Oh, the, the 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 her box. Ah, a box. Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. It must be. It's so decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here or what? Hmm. 
I'm glad I found it. I'll get it to CC pronto. I probably not gonna give it to CC pronto. But you know what I mean. Like, whatever. I don't care. Let's just go and and try to give it to CC pronto. Alright, let's go. No, she's not there. Huh? Did Sissy leave? But she's wounded. She's an idiot. <coughs> oh! Why is she constantly getting into danger? Sissy? Um, I guess we should save because it's the convenient test point, I suppose. She's not it, but she is its boy. Uh, sis, I almost said sister, the girlfriend. <laughs> no, no, stay away! Stop right there! Back off, monster! Leave it! To get out of the hotel. David, what are you? I said run away. I'll take care of this. Hey, monster. I don't know what the hell you are. Don't you lay a finger on Sissy. Um. Alright, good. Cool. Is that the end of the. How was I? What what was I supposed to do? Right, I don't. I have no idea. Let's try that again. <laughs> Let's just run away. like it's reaching it.
What do I do? I don't know what to do. Uh, item, lighter? No. Item, anything? can just go anywhere in this here radius and it's not gonna be able to do anything but the problem is I'm not gonna be able to do anything either it's the only issue ah uh, what do I do defeat it somewhere else uh, I'll be right back um so uh, I don't know you're supposed to just fight it without it reaching you like go from distance or something but like I don't I just like it just doesn't serious all right good great amazing beautiful David David <laughs> David are you okay yeah I don't think it'll chase us anymore never mind me are you okay I'm fine I'm not hurt but Sissy, what's wrong? Are you sick? Why? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did a monster attack me? I... 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 Just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I... Can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Someone, somebody, help! Sissy. What's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? You 
may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him. I see the name and uh, for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David. I was dumped a few months ago too. I was sure we were going to get married. You too. I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy when my, fr when my friend got married. And it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think. Maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of the same person. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I've decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David? This is your treasure, right? It's quite a box. It is, it's be, it would be a shame to throw it away. There is a typo there. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one who loved... Uh, I'm sure the one you loved will understand. And I know I'll always support you. What happened? When did we become the... When, we, the, when did we fall in love? Uh, thank you, David. I, I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Hey, David. Did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open, so... Though I didn't lock it. A key? Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key. <laughs> nah, of course not. Ah, yes, that is the one. Where did you find it? What? Oh, really? Uh, I, I picked it up around here. A key for my house opens Sissy's box. So the former tenants involved with the box. What does that mean? I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, fuck. It's gonna release some evil spirits or something. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches the notebook pages. Which means C. I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here. Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah, he wasn't here. So I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, though, David. Thanks, though, David. Well. <laughs> Oh. I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other so again sometime. <laughs> that never happens. That that surprised me. <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Lingering scent of dreams. Is this where he is? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I see him, I'll go anywhere. That's a that's called a dedication. Oh, scenes. So it's not um chapters. Okay, scene one. Hotel Ruinheim, sissy. End. All right. I think that's where we'll end too. I'm gonna just save it. Back in the. First row there, and we can 
Um, yeah, that's it. Just, I don't know what's going on. Oh, so he's gonna, gonna. All right, so this is where I'll end it. Okay. Um, it's almost two hours, and I've enjoyed it a lot, a great deal, except the parts where I couldn't know what to do, where I didn't know what to do, where I could know, but I didn't, because I was an idiot. And I guess it didn't, it doesn't just specify really what you should do but it does follow a logic of sorts I guess huh so we arrived at the thingy man this place was far that took almost all day interesting well I'm not gonna start it now maybe I could start it and, and well I'm not gonna start it I'm just gonna uh, play just listen, hear the dialogue. Um, until no, actually no. There's no reason to. I was gonna, I'll just listen to the dialogue and well read it, and then I'd uh, when we have a section where we can move freely, I'd end it. But no, this is fine. I uh, no need to wait for that. I'm just gonna end it here, and yeah. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I, I know I did, and I hope you come back to see the other episodes later. Bye.